What is up guys? Welcome back. Good morning. You can see we are back in the garage. We had an amazing weekend. Shout out to Holly LS Fest and everybody that was involved. We had such an amazing time, but it's time to get back on the grind. Today we are working on the LSG35. You can see I have everything set up here. Um, we do need to run to Mike's uh, to grab the clutch for the transmission. Um, we got this one from Action Clutch, but unfortunately this is one for uh, T56 or it's a V8 one. Um, the splines on there is way bigger than the input shaft one on here. So we have to go get the clutch um, from his house and then we're going to start putting this together. I'm going to see this damn engine in this damn car today. So um, yeah, we got a lot to do. So let's get up out of here. this place for sure I'm gonna go in I gotta grab the clutch and then we're gonna get up out of here and we're gonna go put that motor in all right picked up the ACT clutch we got some spark plug wires and we got this big behemoth behind me uh, it's the exhaust for the car we're home so let's get this stuff unloaded and get started all right take the weight off of this we're gonna go ahead and get the stand off man it's nice that this is finally coming off Pull my plug out of there. So we're gonna back this off of here. I need to get the head off because we need to be able to put the plate on and the flywheel and the clutch and then we can bring it down and put this on there and then this is gonna be all together ready to go in the car. All right, and as promised, the pilot bearing, I was gonna show you um, how it is installed. You can see it's flush, the needle, part is on this side. When you get this bearing, it's actually a pretty big bearing. There is a smaller part that actually protrudes off the bearing that is goes in this way. You'll see what I'm talking about if you guys are looking at it, um, if you have the package with you right now. Um, so on the one side, the part that's flush here, you can see that the bearing part for um, the input shaft is actually flush with this side. If you go to the part that goes on the inside, you'll see it has a collar that's sticking off that actually goes um, in this way. So this should stay flush here. The collar goes into the smaller part. Um, and yeah, so that's how this is installed. Now, first thing we're gonna do, we have to put the plate on before we put anything. So we'll be installing the plate. You can see where the starter hole is at. Starter is on this side. So the plate will actually be going just like this. And when it's pushed on, there are the dowel pins for right here. And you can see that all the holes are now lining up for the ones that we need to use here, 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 here. Um, so we're gonna use the bolts that are in the package. Um, so we don't have the bolts for the package. So I had to source them and put them together. Um, I found out actually for the ones for the transmission that if you use, if you guys know the VQ, um, there is a bolt behind the starter that is shorter than all the rest of them on the bell housing. You'll know what I'm talking about if you put them side by side. Let me see if I have an extra one. Um, all right, so here it is. I laid them out side by side and you can see this bolt's not much bigger than the other one. There we go. Not much bigger than the other one. So you will have to lay them side by side, but the smaller bolts, if you use the smaller ones, the factory smaller ones, there's only one, so you would have to get other ones, or you can use what they have in the kit. I believe they're black bolts um, for the transmission. But um, like I said, because we don't have the hardware with it, um, I have enough of these that I can actually use, and it's just enough to hold these in. 
you can see plenty of thread. Um, it also utilizes the starter bolts. Um, there's the two on the bottom, so everything holds on there nice and tight. But the thing that's perfect about these is when it goes through and it goes into the plate, you can see that behind there is actually the head or the block. This goes in and it feeds all the way through the thread and keeps it flush on the back. So these are like the perfect length. So I'm gonna use these. Um, I'm gonna use these ones to hold the plate on. There's four locations. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Loctite, but it'll be here, 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 and here to hold it against there. So we're gonna start doing that now, and then we're gonna keep running through. All right, so step number one done. You can see that it's flush along the side. Everything looks good around here to there. The bolt hole works for here for the starter. You can see the dowel pins in each side and then the four along here. So first one done. Next, we're gonna put the um, flywheel on here. We also have ARP bolts. There's a sequence that we have to do for the ARP. So we're gonna put it on here and get it situated. We have to torque them and then we loosen them and then we retorque them to a spec. And I'll let you guys know exactly what that is in just a second, but let's have this sit on here and we're gonna thread them in a little bit. Okay, flywheel all on. You can see the three bolts holes on one side all line up. I think this is for a dowel pin. However, this motor doesn't have it, um, but they are threaded on the outsides, this one and this one. So if you can see, I have the ARP hardware sitting right here, um, the assembly lube. Um, so there are six bolts total. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in and there's actually um, a three torque spec sequence. You don't actually have to torque it down, back it off and then put them back on. I know on some head bolts you have to do that because um, it stretches the bolt and then you wanna make sure that it's yield yield to, to stretch and then you'll tighten it down. Um, however, on these, that's not necessary. So the first sequence you'll do in a star pattern, um, you'll put them down at 15 foot pounds. The next one you're gonna do, you'll go in the same star pattern um, and do 37. And then the last one will be 74 in the same star pattern and you'll be done. So 15, 37, 74 is the torque. Um, and that will you know, seal the deal for the flywheel on the engine. You can also see on this one, because this is for an LS with a 350Z clutch, you can see that there are the pins for the 350Z clutch um, that will be lining up, and then it has all the uh, pre-drilled holes. So we're gonna put it on first. Um, I'm gonna set this down so that way I can hold the crank, and then we're gonna torque it, um, the 15, the 37, and the 74. Okay, so I got the bolts in. I pretty much hand tightened them in because since the first one is 15 and the second one is 37, um, that's really not a lot of torque. You can do it with your hand. However, I do have a torque wrench for the last one for the 74. Um, and you can see the socket itself is a three quarter inch socket um, and it's a 12 point socket. It's not a six point. So make sure you have a 12 point. Um, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um, I forgot what size is on here. I believe it's 24 or 22, but I'm gonna get a ratchet and then I'm gonna use a breaker bar and hold it because I don't have anybody else here to help me hold it and I don't wanna put anything um, on the splines on the flywheel, break them or anything like that. So I'm gonna put a, a ratchet here with a socket and a bar to hold this and then we're gonna crank down the last bit of the 74 and this will be all done. Then we can put the clutch on. Okay, so you can see this is how I have it set up. Like I said, I don't have anybody else here to hold it. So this works great. This is just an old jack handle. Um, and this is, I believe, a 13 sixteenths. Let me make sure. Oh, 15 sixteenths on here. I'm so used to Japanese. Um, that's why I was saying 22 millimeter, that type of stuff. But it's a 15 sixteenths on a three quarter, I mean a half inch ratchet with a breaker bar. So we're gonna hold that. We're gonna come over here. We're gonna use this to do the six bolts in a star pattern, 74 torque, and we're gonna be done with this. Okay, so that will do that. Now let's grab the clutch, the disc, and put that on here. Now you come over here to this beautiful box. Look how they have this all nice and vacuum packed. ACT six putt clutch. Man, Mike got the good one. Open this up. Look at it. Everything in here packaged all neatly. Beautifully done. 
Very nice. So first thing we're gonna do is open this one up. We are gonna use our pilot tool. Make sure the pilot tool goes in there, which it does. And that's gonna hold this to here. And then we're gonna put the pressure plate on the outside, excuse me. Um, and because you guys are using the CDO trans, when you took the clutch off of the old motor, you should have these, has a washer on it. Um, you will reuse the factory pressure plate bolts. They do thread in to the new one on here, as you guys can see. So there should be nine of those. And now you have all the hardware. So we're gonna unpackage this, use a razor blade and cut this out, use a little bit of the spline grease on here. Um, we're also gonna put a little bit on the transmission even though I already greased it up a little bit. Um, and then we'll put this all together and you're gonna see what the clutch looks like on here. All right, you can see I put some of the grease on there. If I use the spline tool and put it on, now I can kind of just move it in and out to grease the inside of it just enough even coating and that should sit on there like that. So I'm gonna have to steady this a little bit. If I let go, this will fall off. Oh, maybe it won't actually, perfect. So that'll be enough for me to undo this and set this on here, have the bolts ready so that way you can put in a couple of them to hold it all together. Um, and this will actually keep it in the center and then we can tighten them all around. The bar is still over there. And then, yeah, then this is gonna be pretty much ready to go, ready for the transmission to mate to its new home. All right, and now the pressure plate is on. You can see there's three per, so there's nine bolts. Um, there are the dowel pins. These only go on one way. So if you set it up to it and they don't line up, rotate it. Check again, see if they line up. If not, rotate it. I actually had to do it two times, but you can see now it's completely centered on there. Everything's fine. I do have the bolts on. And the reason why I have the bolts on, I didn't show you putting me on and I haven't told you a torque spec is because through my experience doing all of this, I've followed a torque spec before, and you can see how this gap is closed against the flywheel. When I have used the torque spec before, if something was bound up or there was something that didn't, um, you know, maybe catch it right, it would actually give me a false torque reading and this would actually be away from the flywheel. And then when you go to start the car, it doesn't go into gear while it's running um, and you have to take it all back apart. So if you guys have watched my previous videos you know when i do clutches these bolts i will actually walk around very slowly and keep walking around while this sits on here you don't want to just bolt one side down bolt the other side down because these fingers in here can actually get all jammed up and then you'll have the same problem you'll put it in the car try and start it and um, it won't go into gear or it'll stay out of gear with it running but you can't put it in gear with it running um, and it'll give you all kind of problems so you'll have to take it back apart so for me, what I do is I will actually make sure as I walk around that I look and watch it get closer to the flywheel and keep doing it and keep going around until I know that they're all secure, all of the bolts are stopping um, at their, you know, like once it's secured down and touching the flywheel, you'll go and put some torque on it and it won't want to go anymore and you're done. That's it, leave it alone. So now walking around, verify, make sure it's not touching anywhere, or that it is touching everywhere, I'm sorry. Um, God, my allergies are like kicking up right now. It's starting to get windy, so <clears throat> forgive me, I'm really sorry. But um, yeah, so now I know that this is done. I can pull this out, and if you look straight in, you can see that it's actually a direct shot all the way in there. So that's gonna be ready for the input shaft and this is ready to go. So um, yeah, now it's time to mate this to the transmission. I'm gonna spin this around and then we're gonna use a transmission to kind of pull up to it and we're gonna use those last bolts that I told you to bolt it here, 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 and here to here. And then we'll use the bolts for the uh, starter to hold it into the trans. And then there's actually two down here that we're gonna use also. But let's put the transmission on first. So I started setting the motor down to try and fit this in here and I started fighting it and then this man shows up. So we have somebody to help us put it together. I mean, we got LS things all day. This man brought 19 sets of wires to try man. and figure out. Well, remember we said that one, that plug had a uh, rip, so. Yeah, so when, I don't know if you guys saw the last video. If not, go watch his video when we were doing the um, belt. What do we change? The pulley and the belt. An uh, alternator. And the alternator, yeah, but we found out that there might be a problem with the bank because one of these wires on the inside where the electrode goes is actually ripped. So, hasn't given me any problems though, right? 
No, I started sweatering again though. Oh, like, ah. Yeah, we need to change that. So we're gonna change this. Now that the rain's starting, it's gonna make it much easier for us to change it. Also, just uh, I talked to Ray just now because I was just curiosity. I was like, hey, have you ever swapped the LS3 and the C5? It's like I'm doing a run right now. So the oh. LS3 drops right in there. Really? The wires and everything are the same. You buy the Lingen filter um, reluctor wheel converter box. Because remember, it's like a 58 compared oh, to, to a, a 24. 24 yeah. 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 So that thing control like converts it. Everything works like factory. Ooh. And then fucking the um, all you have to change is the the injector uh, harness. Ooh. Just the adapters for it. Because the LS3 injectors are different from the LS1 style. I mean, you've already changed it six times, so. Bruh, well I'll put a I'll put a LS3 in here with a cam. Fucking. Ooh, ooh let me show you. Hey, right there. There it is. There's the donor motor. So you, you already know, take yep. this, remember I was telling you, take this motor out, put it in the swings thing. Yep. Ooh. Put a stock LS3 in this, let Nita drive it. Like, here you go, since I sold you 350Z, you take this thing, detune, fucking 480 wheel, it'll be perfect for her. There you go. And then, and then. And then I, when, when, she, when guess... she dies, it'll be your, your car. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta wait till Nita dies? Man, it's never hey, gonna happen. Hey, Nita's, Nita's grandmother lives like 104 or so. Sick, I have no chance. Hey, you're already 70. <laughs> Fuck this guy. There we go. I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start taking over uh, Aaron's camera on the days that he's vlogging the car, and then I'll just come over here and vlog for him, and he'll still take the video. I'll be a personal ca uh, cameraman. I'm down. Let's do the it. video will fuck around to be 45 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, it's together. It is. Now I need to just jack it up, get the ones underneath, put the starter on. Stab it in. That's all. Awesome. Hey, what did I say last time? Stab the tranny. Stab the tranny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what? and he hey, he didn't do the pause either. Yeah, I just said stab the tranny. Like it was a normal thing. Nowadays, fuck around and get kicked off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> they go, they go, Aaron, Aaron's canceled. <laughs> yeah. Man, he's talking about stabbing trannies, man. <laughs> That's so uh, sexist. It's, your video gets demonetized for hateful speech. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, enough talking about training. You heard the echo? I did. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got that that transmission stabbed. Stabbed. And now it's hanging. We got the one bolt in here, you can see on here that this one is pretty off. I'm not gonna drill it since this one is holding. Plus we're gonna be putting the starter on here, which reminds me the starter, you can see, comes with its own plate specifically for this. This is what it should look like. And so this one is actually gonna sit in here. Kind of like, I don't even remember how this goes. It goes inside like that. Yeah. Like that. And then they say my, they say my blanket is you're going to put the bolt through here that goes into here. And then there's one. Oh, they both go from this side. So this will actually hold the bell housing through the plate to the starter. And it should sit like that. Now you can see why we chopped that ear in the last video. Because this sits nice and close in here. But we're going to put that on. And then it's going to be almost time to put it in the car. Stab the tranny. <laughs> they're shorter ones. See, they're going to stick through too much so I need to get some shorter ones so it's not the factory ones go over to the bolt section of, of the hardware store yeah, the hardware store hold on this may take a second all right boys so see us off the ground yeah this is the one part I don't like this is the hardest part of this whole thing so unless you have two people with you it makes it way easier but the headers, unless you do the undo the uh, steering linkage too, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to deal with any want, alignment. You issues. don't want to center the rack back. Right. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so, um, one like, thing hey, we, why I got hella angle going to the left? Yeah. Break the ribbon and the uh, steering wheel. Um, but the last couple times we've done this, we kind of just, I laid underneath the car, kind of fed up the driver's side one, and then we loosely bolted it on the head. The passenger one will go in no problem. Can just kind of tilt the motor how we need it. So I think we're gonna do that again. It's yeah, the we easiest. followed it last time. Yeah, it worked. And if it works, I'm gonna do it. This one. Man, I don't want to scratch this up though. So yeah, 
the lander there. We're gonna bring the motor over here. And then I also use the jack underneath so we can jack the tranny up so we can keep it level. Not hitting this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every engine I do, every video I do, I try to make sure you guys know. See the stupid thing? Don't hit this. Uh -huh. then we did the first time, right? We, we did, did that, yeah. yeah. It's like, ah, fuck! Yeah. So, yeah, I guess here we go, right? Yeah, we good. Ready? Yep. Watch out for the AC. And watch out for my fresh paint. Fresh paint. It's OEM, baby. Yeah. I know. Hey, that's wait, is there her Aaron's video? OME? Oh, home? <laughs> he was like, if somebody wants some, some o OME uh, lights, <laughs> like, you go, what? OME. You might have to move that now. Put the second header in. Now it's like a complete car. Last thing we gotta do, because I still have the jack underneath there, we're not gonna be using the factory trans mount. We're gonna be using this energy suspension one that um, they supplied for us. And then we're also gonna be putting this in. So I gotta take the factory one off of there, put this on and bolt it up and show you how that goes. All within 14% left battery. All right, if you look directly over top, it's like almost dead in the center. Come underneath here, you can see Trans mount, we're not using the factory trans mount. There's the one that's supplied by ISR and there's the energy bushing one that actually bolts in the factory position right here on the transmission. There's also a plate that comes with the mount. You have to use it, it's not a spacer. So just a little FYI, you do use the factory bolts that bolt the mount to the transmission and then you can kind of just center it. Looking from here, you can see there's actually a bow on this. It actually bows down towards you. That's the proper way to go. And then these face forward towards the front of the car. And then you'll use the factory mounts or the factory bolts that go on here um, and kind of just play with it, kind of move it around. Everything on here has like slide grooves in it. So um, you're able to put it directly in the center of the trans hole where you need it. Then the last thing, the bolts that come with the mount. Wait, wait, wait. did you say put it in the trans hole? Put it in the trans hole. <laughs> I, I cannot talk. I cannot talk about a transmission without something being weird. Uh, I don't know if I can say that. Uh, you know what I mean. Homosexual. Uh, homosexual. Um, and then there's the bolts that go right here. There's a washer, a crush washer, and it's a little tiny shorty bolt, but it's a, um, what are those called? Eight? I can't even think about it right now. Grade eight. Grade eight. That's it. Anyway, grade eight bolt. Um, and now we're gonna tighten everything around. We're gonna make sure that this stayed in the center of the transmission hole. And uh, I think we're gonna be done with this. So yeah, let's bolt this up. All right, engine bolted in. Come over here. Now that everything's bolted up, you can see it's still in the center. Man, I'm so stoked about this car. You can see everything's in there. I don't have the headers all bolted up just yet though, just because we do have to change out some hardware, but I put the gasket in, made it really easy. Ooh, I'm super excited about this. So yeah, we're all cleaned up. It's about 4.45. You guys know it's Tuesday, so I gotta go get my daughter. But um, yeah, been good hangs with Mike today. It was awesome having him help me um, kind of put the car together. And so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. On the next video, we're gonna be putting the exhaust on. We're gonna put the, uh, what are we gonna do? Fuel pump, the shifter, and we're gonna start buttoning some. Sorry, so my battery, crapped out on me so i'm going to end this real quick i hope you guys have been well i hope your families have been well uh, i look forward to see you in the next video for us to button the rest of this thing up um and yeah i i'm super excited let's keep it going much love peace